Greetings, Peanutians, and welcome to another episode of Peanut Reads, also known as me not trying to read it like I'm on crack or something, but yeah. And as usual, if anyone's interested in the link to this webpage, you can either look up Orange Mushroom's blog on Google, or you can look at the description below for the link. And if I don't remember to include it, be sure to tell me I'm an idiot and to post it in the description. Or just, even if I did, just tell me I'm an idiot in the, uh, the comments. Either way, it wouldn't be inapplicable anyways. I don't, I don't even think I'm using that word correctly. Either way, but... As this one is a lengthy post from Orange Mushroom Blog, I'm going to be doing my best to highlight what I really want to go over, which is the skill changes. If I get to the other parts, I get to the other parts. Mostly because I feel like I may or may not be <clears throat> too caught up with this, because there's a lot. And the first of which, common skills. Yeah, I'll be, I'm, mostly skim, I'm going to mostly skim this a lot, though. Let's see, the following skills have been changed into passive skills. Oh, oh decent events plus... Oh, is a passive now? Oh, oh, nice. Decent wind booster. I since that's a common, I'm going to assume that's speed infusion for us due to the translation. And we're gonna change the passive effects. Oh. Okay, wait. The following skill stat boost effects have been changed into a passive effect. Oh, okay. So you don't need to press them anymore. That's gonna clear up a lot of hotkeys and I really like how there's actually a lot of icons. I actually never noticed that. I only thought there was like generalized ones, but go to show how well I'm able to pay attention. Mm -hmm. Oh, and God of Thunder has been decreased to 120 seconds. They could have 120 seconds been added to change the volume below. Okay, so wait, Explore, Cygnus, the Transcend, which is like, is that Zeros? No, that's Zeros. I don't know which one. Oh, that's Cygnus. I don't know the difference. Grandis and the Demon Slayer and the Demon Vendors. Okay, that's really not bad. Hmm. I noticed that Son Goku is not. Oh, yeah, that's right. Saku, no, uh, Sakuna Blessing is not in KMS. Yeah, I forgot about that. These advanced blessings of the skill have been now increased from all stats by five. Oh. Oh, also. Also. Okay, I thought I said only. Yeah, I was going to say that's a terrible change. Um. Oh, weapon aura has been changed out of the attack range and increases increase vertically. Oh, so we're like Saren now. Okay. Uh, last resort. Don't know anything about it. The damage taken has been... Wait, damage taken boost has been decreased. Okay, so you take 10% less damage. And... Okay, in exchange for less... Like, if you dying with it, it also does less damage. Mm, I guess that makes sense. Decent Mystic. No one uses that skill. Oh, and this one I heard a lot about. A new fifth job skill called Decent Holy Fountain, which is Bishop's Fountain. Is that the actual one and that's the decent one? I'm not gonna lie, if that's actually the case, the decent one looks better. Grayish gold looks pretty kind of boss. Oh, damn. Oh, wait, you can... It also heals for the party? Wait, so party members with the undervalue can also use it? You can heal with the person with the arcade with only one found it. Oh, okay. Okay, so only one at a time. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, you gotta have six across the whole map? That would've been too busted. <clears throat> but damn, either way. Hey, yo, bishops, you're getting replaced. Which I'm also being told that might actually be the case later down the line, but eh. Venom Burst. Did they, wait, did they make it useful? Fix an issue where the skill has been completed on monsters that cannot... Okay, so they didn't make it useful. Got it. I don't... Yeah, also, as for, like, the specific skill characters, either... If I'm not... If I don't play them, if I don't have one as a mule, in an, in an active mule, an active one, or my main, I probably won't look at them, so... If you want to look at the full list, by all means, once again, the link will be in the description. Uh, Dark Knight, Fire Poison Mage. Oh, yeah, I actually do have one for Fire Poison Mage. Teleport is mounted to speed by 22. Oh, it's a passive increase. And maximum speed by... Wait, it increases speed by 22 and maximum speed by 20. Okay, either I'm really stupid. No, I am stupid. I just don't know what that means. Teleport mastery the damage will increase from 4 seconds to 20. Woo! Okay, I need to look into actually what the numbers are for the actual damage percentage, because that's a 16 second increase. That's five times more. Ice Lightning, y'all got a bunch. I'm assuming you get the same thing. Freezing Breath. Oh, wait, I don't have one of these. Bishop. Ah, yes. Bishop, I'm going to highlight because there's a lot. Uh, oh. Oh. Falling Skills debuffs have been removed. Angel Ray, Bahamut, which is their summon Divine Punishment. I don't know what that one is. That's a lot. The Falling Skills are no longer affected by the increase in from... Sp oh! From the Oz Rings! <laughs> Resurrection was affected by Int. Okay. Teleport station, still the same. Spell message, change description. Holy numbers will no longer be used in mass where primary is. Oh, okay, so they just added the, the, that rule so that you can't have more than one fountain on the map. Okay, that's fine. That makes sense. 
And holy blood. Does it continue to increase my Okay, that's good. That's half a cooldown. And exchange for the int boost. Okay. Ugh, that I feel like there's a 50% uh, cooldown decrease for that. More uptime for less. Mm, I don't know how that balances out. Master magic. The skill of increases for, uh, fun under by 10%. Oh, yeah, that's right. A lot of solo stuff for bishops got increased while the party removals got enacted. I'm trying to offset the, part, the need for party final damage. Got it, KMS. Still a stupid idea. You guys suck. Angels of Libra, I don't know what that is. But now the limit to forty percent. Oh, so you can't. It doesn't go over a cad. Divine punishment. Oh, that's their primary bursting skill, if I remember correctly. Sacred skill, prey, and this does not apply to the bishop using prey. Only to follow up its final damage boost. The power is split equally. Oh, okay. So instead of just giving everyone a big ass amount, it's now if actually split across. Okay. Ooh, Bowmaster. Bowmaster, I have a pretty strong mule of this, and I want to actually see what this actually says. You can now use Cover for the following skills. For... Wasn't that always the case? Oh, wait, does it mean we can actually activate it while we're holding down Hurricane? If that's the case, that's really good. Advanced Quiver, the drain activation rate has been decreased from 70% to 60%. Yeah, it was kind of... It was kind of really good, anyways. The uh, Drain Arrow's maximum HP recovery has been decreased from 5% to 1.8%. Well, I can't deny, I you when I actually am in Black Mage on my Bowmaster, I just have Blood Arrow on the entire time in P4 and have White Aura so I can get Black Curse. It's really good. It's really good. I don't blame them. Arrow Piercing. The skill of the map permanently increases final damage. Ooh, extra final damage by 7%. Quiver, now increase the final budget. Okay, one of our burst skills got increased by 15% damage. Okay, St I don't even use that skill for training, but okay. Arrow platter fixed initial where the skill directly used in attack will not increase mortal blows number of times. Never actually noticed it, never know that was a problem, but okay. Marks, wow, you have a lot of stuff. Unfortunately, I have a mule of you that's about to liberate in like five months, which I don't want to do, but it's already started. The focus on duration has been increased from 15 seconds. Oh, increased from 15 seconds to 30 seconds. I don't even know what that is. True snipe. That's their iframe. Okay, it does more damage. Focus on duration. Wait, focus on duration. I'm thinking about the wrong skill, am I? I'm probably thinking about the wrong skill. Split shot. Increased damage. Okay. When are you going to make that thing full duration? Because I'm not going to lie. If they ever, ever make split sh arrow full duration, I might actually play uh, Marksman as a main again. I used to play that like, what, 10 years ago? Charge arrow, no one you Oh, that's the one that nobody uses. I'm not even going to read that garbage. Wait, actually, maybe... Does it actually have a final damage? Uh, like a debuff? Uh, more damage, more damage, more lines. Oh, so 24 hits. Okay. In oh, cool. Oh, so increased damage for increasing the cooldown. Now I'm really not going to use it then. Remember the hit effect was displayed awkwardly? No, I'll never notice that because I'm blind as heck. Repeat cartridge for words. Oh, 250% increase in damage. Snipe, increased damage. More damage. More damage. And piercing arrow. Now, I'm not going to train my marksman ever, so I don't really care. Pathfinder, unfortunately, you. Whoa, that's actually a lot of number increases. Ooh. Not bad. And these, I never actually learned how what their like difference was or how to use them, so we're just going to skip that. Why can I un uh, highlight? I was going to okay. Night Lord, I, okay, this was a complaint I had when I actually had a Night Lord mule. Their up jump was garbage, but it increased by 11%. That's, I don't know how good that is, but hey, it increases and increases. I guess we'll take it where we can, because I might end up turning that Night Lord into a boss mule again. And the final damage, be, ooh, more final damage, okay. I shouldn't really be surprised a lot of people are getting final damage, <laughs> except for Aaron, even though they did, but not really. We'll get to that. Uh, that giant shuriken thing, more damage. Ooh, more lines and... Oh, more lines. Okay, that's not... This thing, there's a... Wow, increase, more hits. Wait. Oh, oh, that's more stars. Okay. A scroll explosion at the end. I didn't even know that even was a thing. The cooldown has increased. Oh! Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I wonder how much that's going to impact it, though. But it's... Does that make it a half burst? Nah, I don't think so. Shadow Word, don't play it. Do it later, don't play it. Vi oh, yeah, that's Buck. Uh, it's going to increase speed by 22. Okay. Ooh, that's their toggle, right? That's their toggle, right? That is going to increase by 24. Damn, I have a Buck Mule, and it's going to liberate next month. Oh, this is going to be great. Uh, but, huh? That's, that's 490%. The energy orbs. Oh, okay. So for all three of them. Oh, 
okay. Furious Charge. That's Serpent Vortex, is it not? A Serpent Fury has been added to the daily to hold. Oh. Use all of them at once. I'm not doing that. That's stupid. I need this for mobility. No one uses this for... In GMS, no one uses this for damage, so... I guess it makes sense in KMS, because they... I think they still use it for their, like, burst rotation, or their just damage rotation in general. By the way, in GMS, I am slightly confident that we're not going to use it. If someone in the comments let me know if I'm wrong or right. Or just let me know if I'm wrong. I don't think it really matters if I'm right. Captain Corsair, you have a purple Nautilus. Okay. Wow, you have a lot of stuff. Cannon Master, I don't really play one anymore, but that's uh, so just a flash jump. That's kind of sad. And Dawn Warrior, which is called Soul Master over in KMS. Why is my mouse moving on its own? Okay, it stopped. Weird. Let's see. Elemental Resistance or Rigor Fish have been removed. Okay, that. Note to self, don't play my Dawn Warrior anymore. Got it. A skill is not increasing your final damage when you're taking debuff by 10%. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's 10% damage for yourself. Okay, maybe still play it, I guess. Mihail, or Mihil, or Mihil, whatever you want to call it. You got a lot of stuff I don't play you. Blaze. Okay, that has my attention. I might make a Blaze Wizard, because that looks cool. Oh, yeah, that's right. Blaze Wizard has Flash Jump. They don't have to... Oh! Oh, is that like a recall skill like the Explorer Archers have? Okay, you have my attention again. Overdose Fire, that's their fourth job skill. They took it to hit the banana. Have your elemental resistance decrease has been ruined. Ow! Oh, there's another class that had that thing. Okay, but it was for the cells, it looks like it. Blazing Extinction. Shut up, phone. I am not looking at you. And. Oh, oh, even these little gremlin things have their, to their toggle damage increase. Okay. Uh, you can use it in midair. Ooh, that's nice. I don't know what that skill is. If it's an iframe that you can use in midair, no, that's even better. Any iframe that you can't use midair or any position in, in general is kind of bad in my opinion, but... Yeah, then they got some class that still have an iframe. <clears throat> Night Lords. I don't remember Mr. Bro, I swear to God, I might play Blaze Wizard just because it looks cool. Jeez. And Wind Archer. I'm not going to cover it because I'm being told... Yeah, I'm just... Oh, yeah, the Hurricane, you can move with it now. Can you jump with it? I hope you can jump. But, yeah, look at those numbers. You know, I would play Wind Archer, but I'm, like, very blind. Like, I... Yeah, they're all green. It's gonna be hard for me to see them on a keyboard. Oh, but, you know, you just remember the keys. No, 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 no. I use my peripheral to see cooldowns on my hotbar, and if I don't see them correctly, and I click the wrong thing, it's... Yeah. I'm... I'm... Skill issue and eye issue. Thunderbreakers. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. Aaron. My class. Let's see how good or bad they really did. Because I didn't get to read it yet, but now I'm finally getting it. Combat step, which is our flash. You can only use go while using Beyond Blur to cancel it. If you do so, a three second cooldown will apply. Like, you removed our animation cancel skill, and then you give us this. You do realize how stupid that is, right? Yeah, it's a skill issue if you accidentally use it over and over and over, but you know how many times it's going to actually activate on accident, even if you have good, like, timings and whatnot. Not to mention, you can use a skill while using Beyond Blade, which is our primary, uh, primary bossing and mobbing skill to instantly cancel it. You do realize that, one, our flash jump is tied in with our mobility, which in of itself, if we accidentally don't if we press beyond blade too quickly while in the animation we get put in the three second cooldown and but you know you, you just gotta be good at using skill no 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 the, that's also a valid point but why would you make this a thing in general you gotta just give us animation cancel just not giving us the cooldown we at this point we can either just wait it out or use arrow swing which is now smash swing because arrow swing is no longer a thing in uh KMS and all. but also three seconds Three seconds. You do realize server lag is a thing, and it affects a lot of things, and I'm willing to bet money that server lag will affect the cooldown. So instead of three seconds, it might be five seconds. Yeah, good luck flash jumping, buddy. And not even that. Combat step is usable on the floor, which means you can slide. But you can also use combat... Uh, I forgot what the other skill. We have a rush skills. You can use that, but that one's slightly slower. You're just restricting errands even more. You had your foot on their necks. And then you said, you know what? No, no, no. I'm not going to use sneakers. 
I'm gonna put on high heels. I'm gonna step on your neck again. Why are you double dipping on us? What did we do to you, KMS? I'm already confident that I'm quitting, Aaron. Like, D Master Part 1, I'm like, okay, I can use it as a weekly meal. I can still do chaos to numbers. Nah. You touched my mobility. The one thing that was left intact. You killed it again. You killed it more. So, P2 Remaster cemented it. My Aaron is no longer going to be an easy calling, easy callos soloer. It is now not, it's not even going to be a chaos to numbers soloer. Maybe if it's like still five minutes. I am reducing it. Worst case scenario, to a normal to numbers runner. That is it. You made Aaron unfun, suck at moving, crappy mobility, crappy mechanics. I think I repeated myself, but nonetheless, you get the point. Let's look at the damage increases that someone else highlighted and said it was a good thing and they forgot all the nerds. Yeah, that guy's an idiot. <laughs> okay, combo ability. The combo acquired every five seconds have been increased by one combo to at least has been increased from uh, from 10 to 20. Yeah, this is mostly for a KMS side. Like they're just compensating for their lack of insight and lack of for lack of insight and foresight and lack of capability of designing a class. KMS is, is just terrible in this aspect because they don't know how to design shit. Snow charge. The damage boost have been increased from ten to fifteen percent. Oh, damage increase. Wait for it. Adrenaline boost activate. The combo refunded after adrenaline boost ends has been increased from two hundred to five hundred. So they backtracked their own mess up. You know, yeah, let's fix 10 years of our own mistakes. Yeah, and then they're finally fixing their mistakes they made freaking six months ago. And, oh, wait. Ooh, cooldown has been... 90 seconds has been added. So you increase our damage, but you remove 50% of its de uh, delivery source. I ain't no mathematician, but I'm pretty sure that equals into... Yeah. But, no, in the end... It's an overall damage boost somehow. I don't know how, but up our Punch King and Guild Culvert, I'm being told from KMS sources, have dropped by 15 to 20 percent. Well, 15 percent for them is more like 20 to 25 percent for GMS because of our attack speed boost. So any damage boost that we get, it's higher than theirs. Any damage nerf that they get, we suffer more. That's me complaining about regions, but that's not the point. I'm complaining about the class in general. I'm just highlighting significant significant differences. If you guys can hear that, I do apologize. I live in this city. People don't know how to drive. They just keep honking their horns. And adrenaline maximum. The number of hits required to boo to wait acquired in adrenaline boost mode and to enter hyper awakening mode has been decreased from 15 to 10. And it's more of a KMS issue that it's better for KMS now. In GMS, we won't have that problem significantly unless you're getting your unless you're getting clapped in a boss. And high mass rate. The crit, the crit damage boost have been increased from 8 to 10. So we get 2% crit damage increase from that one, from this skill. The final damage boost have been increased from 15 to 21. So we get 6% increase on that one. And cleaving attack, the damage boost has been increased from 30 to 5%. Somehow, this, this equates to more damage for us with half of our delivery nerfed. Well... Hey, KMS is an initial design on making our burst more condensed. Yeah, having two adrenaline bursts, to those who don't know, it's 20 seconds long, 15 seconds as a base without the hyper passives. So 20 times 2 is 40. So 40 seconds. 40 seconds for a burst is pretty above average to too high compared to all the other classes. And they, they have condensed it. So, you know, good concept. Garbage delivery. That's all I'm going to say. I will make a further video with other errands once the D Master has arrived in GMS in two months. Yeah, so get ready for that. And Merc, I'm not, I don't have a Mercedes. I don't have an Evan. Luminous, I have one. Trans, wait, light, transform. I'm assuming that's translation error. The skill been permanently increased to maximum speed by 20. A lot of, oh, so it looks like a lot of teleportation skills actually got a speed increase. The speed boost has been increased from 20 to is there like a significant reason why it's 20 to 22? Someone, someone please tell me that in the comments because I don't understand. Equilibrium liberation is what it is. There's a light that's going to increase larkness, darkness, even if you do not hit an, uh, an enemy. However, it will only increase half as much as you. Oh, that's nice. You can actually charge up your gauge using the other color. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong because I think I might be stupid and I might be reading it wrong. But if that's what it sounds like what I'm thinking it sounds like, that's really nice. Man, maybe I don't abandon my luminous mane, a mule. And morning, uh, I don't, okay, I don't really think anyone uses this, but I throw this out every out so often when I'm bossing, because 
Any extra damage? Is that any extra damage if I'm not actually attacking something? This thing action. Ooh, this was my. This is what I had, I had a problem because every time I was doing uh, Golux on my Luminous Mule at the end of the bosses, this gets me killed every so often because it takes so long to charge up. I mean, summon. That's nice. Oh, even this one. Okay. 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 Oh, even this. Okay, Luminous, you got a more. Oh my god, you got just got real attractive. Holy moly. Oh, this is for the two uh, different colored ones, and this is the combined one. Yeah, no, no, no one ever really uses this for like the non -e uh, equilibrium version. Okay. Dark Fallen Core has been removed for the. Ex oh, for the existing that have Dark Fallen, it will be replaced by the following skill. The core already has the first skill. Oh, they're deleting something. Okay, and due to the translation, I don't know which one it is because I'm. Yeah. Also, Phantom. Phantom, I was told that I would potentially be attracted to make this a bossing meal, which I have one at 220. I might actually do this. So let's take a look. Tempest of Cards, one of their primary bursting skills, if I'm remembering. Someone correct me if I'm wrong again. If you're tripping, increase the like skill that the debuff has increased their damage by 20%. Oh, debuff. Okay, so yeah, I'm being told that the debuff from this skill got removed and added to this. Depending how long the duration of the debuff is, this might actually be better because you're removing the need to actually debuff something with a skill rather, and then you, know, you can just solely focus on an actual attacking skill, which is ultimately better. Damage going to 30. Wow, isn't that their Maple Warrior? Hmm, I'm gonna figure it out later. Joker! Where the movement skill of the fits has been increased, uh, has been removed yet. Yeah, apparently, this was by design. It actually, the skill. Puts you at, at like think negative no not negative minus a hundred percent speed like below a hundred percent speed, and apparently this was a very big problem in Damian P two because when you're in his ball, when you're in his blue ball um, orb skill that you know follows you around and does less damage for you uh, does you know, makes you deal less damage while you're in it. That apparently that movement speed matched P two. So yeah, that was a big issue for them apparently. So this is actually kind of nice, and less time needed to hold it down, so you can get your attack off completely in five seconds rather than seven seconds, which is great. Increases the damage to compensate for that as well. And if it's an issue where the hourglass cooldown reduction apply to certain hyper skills, I I don't think that's supposed to be in this tab, but okay. Blackjack has been their damage has been increased by hundred percent. The additional damage has been increased from mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Rift Break. Never learn how to use that skill. Damage increased by hundred percent. That's even better. And Tempest of Cards 6, that is a 6 job version of that, so it's going to increase by 10%. Oh, is it really that good that it's only needed a 10% increase? Man. Future of the is good as deep Oh! Oh, I'm assuming this is just to match that one and it's not stacking. That is stacking, that's minus 40% IED, that's nice. Um, and this, if I remember correctly, is their Hurricane skill, it increases the damage, nice. And Shade, I'm only going to look at this because this is also a demastered class. If any Shade mains in the chat would like to chime in on this and correct me or like add to this, please let me know because I am I I will ha I do have a Shade that's liberating during the D-Master, but I'm not too knowledgeable on the class still. I don't even know how to burst correctly still. I'm pretty sure I'm doing it wrong. But let's get to it. Fox Spirit, which is the little orb attacks that they have when they attack something, has been increased by 40%, so that's nice. Spirit Bond, and that's their speed enhancing skill. Also, just e Why is everything increasing by 2? Someone needs to explain that to me. Soul Split. The final damage boost to party members that attack... Buddy. That attack enemies... Yeah, you got a lot of spelling errors here, buddy. I can't blame them. My English sucks, too. As you can tell. Deep buff by Soul Splitter will now have the explain sort of been decreased by 15%. Yeah! Kill Aaron and Shade's party playability. Although Shade still does better in parties than Aaron's, because Aaron's had nothing to contribute. It has been approved so that the resist icon... Oh, so it actually, yeah, the resist icon actually shows up on the HP bar of the boss alongside the bind buffs. That's actually kind of nice, because even though it's a one-minute cooldown, no one really uses it, but it's still nice to see it. So nice quality of life. So it's been approved that the resist buff has been blah, 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 same thing. And Fox got beating for because I is that the origin skill? I don't remember. Remember, also ignore the car. I don't know if nonetheless damage boost. Damage has been decreased, but the shockwave has increased, which I'm pretty sure is still a good thing because no one. I'm pretty sure you you're not supposed to hold down the attack anyways when you burst. You're supposed to just click and let it go because what you want is the shockwave. Well, I guess this just makes it further. More so, the reason to do that, I guess. Well, once again, Shades, correct me if I'm wrong. Fox Spirit 6, which I'm believing is... Yep, same thing as this one. The damage has increased from 230... Oh, wow! 
That actually is a lot. Blaster, I'm not covering that because... Yeah, there's only one thing I'm going to actually delay. Oh, oh, doesn't that make comboing a way, be way better for them? Hey, yo, Blaster, you eating? And... Battle Mage. Oh, yeah, but someone said Battle Mage is going to be potentially a good new main for me if I'm actually looking for something. Final damage boost of 5%. Yellow Aura. Oh, fix to teleport to base any of your using up down. I don't know what that means. Genesis. No one really uses it for bossing, to my knowledge. Shelter. Skill no longer affect by. Oh, okay. So everyone will just see it at full transparency, uh, full opacity then. Okay, that's good. Kind of. And if I have just increased by. Whoa! 17%? Man. Okay, maybe I do play one as a boss meal instead of a main then, but maybe. But, uh, isn't that isn't that their primary? No, that can't be the primary because that's almost four. That is four hundred and thirty percent. Okay, abyssal lightning. I think that's their summon. Grim Reaper. I think that's also summon. Oh, the, yeah, that has to be a number of hits increased by three. Okay, so more lines, less damage. So that's actually good if you use it in a roar. Okay. And the final hit oath as well. Wow. Oh, yeah, Mechanic. Mechanic was also another uh, character I was looking to change from a mule to a main. Let's take a look. And once again, the mobility deep stuff. Jesus Christ. Overtuning, the final damage increase by 3%. Okay. Oh, and this is my favorite. You can use their iframe in midair now. Like I said earlier in the video, iframes that you can't use when you need to use it is bad. But hey, this is nice. And the final damage boost to party members have been decreased from four to two as standard in this ba balancing patch. They nerfed a whole lot of party support, uh, party final damage and support stuff. They've nerfed it in, in favor of increasing everyone else's damage. <clears throat> Aaron's, where the hell is it? And this thing, metal armor full burst, which I think is just a burst. As some keto durations from. Oh, this I like. This I like. Does the concentrated attack though? The metal lines have been increased. Okay, more lines, less duration. They didn't change the actual damage output, they just changed the lines. Okay. The attack and roll have been increased. Oh, wait, so more lines and faster delivery. Okay, so you're still, if I'm understanding correctly, you're still doing 10 seconds of attacking, but it's more condensed. Okay. Someone's gonna tell me I'm wrong. Demon Slayer. Okay, Demon Avenger, I might make one of you. The action delay has been... Oh, faster attack speed! Oh, that's gonna be good for 10 attack speed in GMS. Okay. And once again, mobility. Mobility, Jesus Christ. Double cry, the feature where the cooldown has been decreased, the feature has been removed. Oh, the cooldown has been increased. Oh, so they just decreased the cooldown in general, so they, you don't need this. Oh! Oh, if you get a cooldown hat... Wait, Demon Slayers in chat, please let me know. If you use this... With a cooldown hat, does that mean you can just train infinitely with this skill only? Oh, well, I might need to go look at that then. Demon impact is still the same delay. Uh, so just oh, just so a faster attack speed, which makes more damage. That's okay. That's good. Demon Avenger. I swear to God, every time something happens, y'all look more and more attractive to me. Although I do not have the hands for this. That's kind of cool, actually. Oh, and this is um correctly does not use HP. Yeah, this is the Demon Slayer. This is the Demon Avenger's equivalent of the Demon Slayer skill that doesn't use Demon Force, which is. I'm just gonna have that. Yeah, overwhelming power, level decrease. Okay, more skill points allocation adjustments. Forbidden contract. The feature of the Nazca does not continue. It just has been removed. Okay. I'm gonna skip Demon Avenger because I don't know what the heck I'm looking at. Xenons. Yeah, Xenons, you guys do you. I'm not gonna ignore you. Oh, Kaiser, I do have one of you. Transfiguration. The increased stat no longer changed based on the morph gauge and will instead be applied permanently. Oh, okay. Oh, that's actually an overall damage increase then, because if you're after you get out of transformation and you're not you don't go immediately back to the dragon form, you have no gauge. The gauge is fast to charge, but this just means you have all the damage permanently now. Okay, that's nice. This fast will be applied while while not will only be up on whoa will only be applied while not in final train. I'm hoping that's a typo or that I don't know if it's actual passive for Kaiser, but does that mean we don't have super uh a full? Knockback resistance while in dragon form no more? That better be a typo. Kinds, don't know. Condenas, I don't know. Zeros. Zero is actually my new main currently until I say otherwise. Well, yeah, let's see. The future has been added where you can jump upwards. Okay. My biggest complaint about Zero has been fixed. 
my complaint was that the up jump, which is an up teleport, was nerfed back then. It has come back in this form. We have an actual up jump now. Oh, yes. I might I might make my home permanently in Z uh, zero now. Okay. Burst step, you cannot, you cannot use burst step upwards after using... Okay, that makes sense. No double up jump like Aaron's have. That makes sense. That would be pretty busted. You cannot use burst jump upwards after... Oh, burst step, burst jump. Okay, it's just covering both bases. Got it. Chrono Trigger. Is that their origin? If you're the anyway, you can cast the skill, rapid times attack, and strength will be set to mech to remember decks. I don't know what that is. Kinesis, don't care. Adele. Adele's y'all be eating nonetheless. Everyone, okay, to the, everyone in my, anyone in my guild who's watching this who's an Adele, I hate you because all of your guys' RNG is busted. Y'all be hitting Star Force, potentials, drops. I hate you guys. Maybe I need to make an Adele myself. Me. Ilium. Ooh. So a lot of their stuff's increased in duration. That's actually nice. Damage as well. Speed. What's with this? Someone. Okay. KMS Dev. If you're in chat, please let me know. Why are you doing this to the speed? I'm not hating it. I'm just very curious. Why is it from 20 to 22? Is there a mechanical reason for that? Is there like a, like a system's like... I don't know what it is, but I'm confused. Kali. Yeah, and KMS. Y'all are... Y'all are on some steroids. Yeah. If you weren't cooldown class based, I would probably play you. But I am not smart enough for this class. So, yeah. Same with Ark. I am. I don't have the patience nor the sanity to deal with me accidentally putting the wrong input because of the cooldown and <clears throat> server lag. So, yeah. Lara's. Lord. Oh, oh. Wow. Not gonna lie. When I heard about the damage increases from another Lara main... I was actually tempted to play Lara, but I don't have a good enough computer to burst on a Lara, because every time I have a, somebody in my party who is a Lara... Okay. Yeah, um, let's just say my computer goes from running to stuttering. So, yeah. But yeah, daddy, yeah, you got... You got a lot of numbers increases. God damn, what the 400? Oh, yeah, I think I remember that one. Oh, that's not almost 400. Yeah, y'all got y'all got stacked. Ho Young. Oh, they are gonna up jump. Hey. You know, I was gonna play Ho Young. I'm not because I, I don't know how to play combo classes and their gauge confuses me. But Peter just learned. Yeah, I'm not smart. I don't wanna learn. I am stupid. Why do you think I played Aaron? You didn't have to do nothing on that thing. Alright, as for the new stuff. So, they'd add in new areas. Which is the 290 map, okay, and who have completed the fifth j job. You know, I feel like you all, you could have just added the Carcium letter to the Across the Continent quest as a requirement. Find me one person who is in Grandis, specifically Cernium Plus, who is only fifth job. Can you even pass a Burnium and Hotel without doing fifth job? Without doing sixth job? Kind of weird. But I'm not going to lie. This is the only reason why I want to make my Aaron, who is two, currently 286 to 290, just so I can come here and do dailies. Look at this. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. Especially this map. My God, I might make this. I, hey, yo, KMS, make this, a, make this a keyboard. Not a keyboard. A desktop. Uh, oh, yeah. Keyboard mat. mat because... Damn, that's good. Oh, and the mobs themselves. Oh, that slaps. Oh, that looks like a that looks like shade, like shade's attack summon thing. Oh, that looks like a different version. Oh, bruh, bruh. Yo, KMS, give that person who designed these a goddamn raise. What the hell is that? The elite boss? Oh, it is the elite boss. Damn. Oh, yeah, that's right. And the new symbol has its own... Oh. Wait, is it? Oh, wait, no, no. So it, it doesn't share it. It's its own. Unless they're... They just got lazy and they only put one in there instead of getting all six. But, yeah. Hmm. It gives EXP, Meso, and Drop Rate. And I'm assuming Authentic Force because I'm pretty sure it doesn't give you... 
Oh, no, 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 there is another... Oh, that's probably the toggle right there. Yeah, because 660 is the max with the six regular ones. So this one's... Oh, you do get Arcane uh, Authentic Forest. Got it, okay. So does it say it? Yeah, I can't read that, okay. And you get another metal, as per usual, and again... Apple? Oh. Oh. Oh, this thing is... God forbid it's come to GMS. My God. Direct uh, one of the support. Mm -hmm. Direct X. I don't know what that is. Reboot world changes. Oh yeah, we don't need to read this because GMS is not going to reflect because this is um they're rotating. Oh, not they're rotating. Their phases of turning reboot into a regular server. So we don't need to worry about that. Don't worry about this. Yeah, I feel like for the most part, none of this is important to us. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave this all alone because I was, I was mostly looking to like highlight these skill changes and skill balances. It balances. Yeah. There's a lot. Unfortunately, as an Aaron main, Aaron is... If they haven't killed every single actual currently existing Aaron main in KMS, I will be very surprised. All they really cared about was introducing Aaron and Shay to brand new players and introducing new customers to that player base, uh, that character class, and not giving a darn about the current existing player base. Like, they've mostly killed a bunch of them, the ones in KMS. They've killed a lot of them in GMS as well, and it's not even here. They, uh, I'm not the only one who moved away from Aaron because of this. And unfortunately for me, or technically, unfortunately for me, I'm pretty much done with my Aaron. I'm only missing two pitch boss. I'm done with Eternals. Yeah. I didn't even get to finish finish the class before they killed it. Yeah. I don't get it. And they still haven't said anything. And from what I can tell, there was no developer notes underneath any of those, which I'm assuming Orange Mushroom Blog, the the, uh, the translator, the person who runs it, does translate it. And if you didn't translate it inherently in here... That just tells me there's still radio silence. KMS, get off your asses, say something, communicate with your player base. Literally just talk to us. We just need you to do that. Maybe it's somewhere down here. What if I just do control F? Duh. What about note? Don't care, don't care. Don't care. Yep. So, literally none of this is... Yeah, no communication whatsoever. <sighs> okay, Miss, you better not be just staying quiet and hoping to just get swept under the rug, because I'm not going to let it live. Even after I move to zero, I'm still going to bitch and complain about it. Hey, call me a child. Child, call me immature. You don't just kill a player base without saying something. Yeah, guys, with that being said, if anyone has any other opinions, any other ideas on how they should have gone about their classes or other classes that they play as mules, please let me know down in the comments because I would like to have more insight on how other people think because I'm going to need it for when I actually make my analysis slash critiquing video for when Eren slash Shade Demaster gets here. I won't really be covering Shade because, like I said, I'm not knowledgeable on Shade. I'll be covering Eren as best as I can with a couple of other Erens if I can actually gather up other, other Eren brains to pick. Yeah, guys, with that being said, thanks for watching the video. If you got anything to say, please leave it down in the comments because I would love to hear your input. I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video. Later.